Hey everybody, my name is Scott Cooper and I am here actually to talk a little bit about what's called a tummy tuck. Um, I lost a bunch of weight about 10 years ago. Um, kept it off for a while, but um, still had this area right here as you can see hanging out. So I ended up gaining some weight back a couple of years ago and just lost it again through proper diet and exercise. Um, so that is actually, um, it's coming off tomorrow. So I'm 24 hours before my procedure. I'm 43 years old, I'm 5'11", and I weigh 163. So as you can see here, this is actually my waist area um, with my skin pulled up and tight. You can see that there's a lot of skin right here that makes it really, really difficult when running and exercising. So I have decided to have this taken off. A 43 year old man that um, really has missed out on a lot of life because of this. So tomorrow this comes off. This is gonna be a, a simple skin removal procedure from what I understand. I give you a quick rundown on what to expect tomorrow. Picked up three prescriptions yesterday. I'll start them tomorrow. One will be a Valium that I'll take an hour before the procedure to calm my nerves. I'm in the health and wellness industry, um, but I'm scared. Um, I'm scared. I, I wouldn't say I'm scared. I'm more so anxious. Um, I know that recovery is going to be a bit of a challenge. I'm a pretty active person, so not being able to be as active before, you know, I don't know how well that's going to go over with me. Um, but I'm also anxious about the results. I can't wait to see them and I hope that I'm ready to... I've got a trip planned for Mexico and um, I want to be out there looking good. Suction now, which is basically uh, running a little metal tube through the uh, fat, and you'll start to see the fat come up in this tube. See the yellow? Notice how it's mostly yellow and not red because of the shrinking down of the blood vessels. This posterior flank, or commonly known as the love handle. heads obviously that way, his feet are that way, this round circle is the belly button. And we've made some marks that we uh, had the, we took the opportunity to have him standing up with uh, undergarments on so that we could make the marks and know that they will fall under where his underwear line will be so that with any kind of uh, underwear on that he will uh, not, it won't show. And what we're going to do now is put some fluid in kind of like we did for the liposuction, but we're going to use this to help numb this area. Now that the tumescent solution is in place and the epinephrine effect is complete, we'll begin the incision around the navel to isolate the stalk so that we can then begin to lift the skin from around it. We're going to leave it attached to its own blood vessels and then when all this comes down, we'll put it back in where it belongs. Now that the navel has been isolated, we will make the lower incision, which crosses the whole entire abdomen. It's taken down through two layers of fat, and I like to leave some fat on the lower surface of the muscles for better adhesion and healing. This uh, incision is then cauterized to prevent any further bleeding. Now that the incision is down nearly to the muscle layer, the skin and fat flap is elevated from the muscle, allowing the skin to be freed enough to not only remove the excess, but also to reduce tension so that the upper portion can be pulled down. It is then split in the midline for better access. You can kind of see how it's belly button. We're right up to it now and we're gonna leave it on the stalk. 
As we move above the umbilical stalk, we dissect up as far as the lower border of the sternum, elevating the flap off of the muscle structures above so that the, it can then be transposed down as far as the pubis. This would all be loose from stretching. We would put sutures uh, from side to side here to tighten it up. But uh, being a guy and not being loose and having good ab tone, he doesn't really need that additional suturing because he's obviously very tight. So we won't add that to the surgery on this. But on the typical tummy tuck for ladies that have had two or three kids, we would tighten this from side to side and really make them tight. The preoperative marks are only used as a guide and exact fitting is done at this stage where I judge the correct amount of skin to remove. The skin is then removed from on each side separately and uh, checked for fit. And at this point, we can then begin the actual closure of the incisions. The final portion of preparing the skin for closure for me is to actually reduce the amount of fat that is under the deep layer and I do that with scissors as you can see here. In the center of the flap also where I want to create a concavity I will take some additional fat both with the scissors and probably even with liposuction if necessary. That allows better inset of the umbilical stalk. Now that the flap has been thinned and is ready for complete closure, we will temporarily secure it with some staples so that we can accurately mark where the umbilical stalk should be brought through the new skin flap. At this point, I actually measure to make sure it's correct and then we will make a new incision for the umbilicus. So we want it to come down like that and be tight at the very top. That looks really good. A key part of the procedure now is assuring the transfer of tension down as well as the elimination of dead space. And I do what I call a quilting suture to suture the top flap back down to the muscle. In doing this, it progressively puts the tension down such that there is not very much pull at the actual skin closure. Well, uh, we may trim it a little bit to fit, but the reason I made that little V we're going to put that V right into the middle of the lower part of the navel because if you look down at someone's tummy belly button it breaks the scar up and the V goes inside the navel and they won't see that later. The surgery is completed by suturing the deep and superficial layers of the skin into close approximation so that healing can occur at the best rate. No tension there now at all so his chances of getting a very minimal scar with no tension are much better. See how nice and tight he is in that upper tummy? How he's getting that nice little contour up there? I use a transverse drain to help eliminate any fluid accumulation in the lower abdomen, as it is more likely because of the liposuction and the uh, undermining that we did. We're completing suturing the skin now, and the procedure has taken us probably about two hours. A typical procedure would take two to three hours depending on the muscle repair and other things that are ne necessary for individual patients. One point five eight pounds. Went well. I think you'll be very pleased. Very pleased. He won't like me for about a week, but you know, after that, it'll get better. Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is the day after my surgery. Um... So that's what the incision looks like up close. Feels good. It's nice and tight. Um, definitely impressed.